That looks Thank good. You. Thank you very much. Now, uh, last time you were here, it was very nice. You brought your parents. Your parents were hanging around backstage. They Absolutely. seem like very nice people. They, they've lost their minds. Yeah. They're crazy people. They're uh, crazy now? Yeah, I love them. They're, they're the best people in the world. I love them so much, but they just lost their mind. They're crazy. I, I think a lot of people think that about their parents. Have, they, have your parents done anything particularly uh, upsetting? They just, uh, uh, well, my, my parents met my girlfriend's parents for the first time this summer. That's a like, big deal. It's like that... a meet the parents weekend. They, they right. flew at some lake house to meet them and all this stuff. Right. And the night before they're supposed to go out, my mom calls me uh, and she goes, okay, don't get mad. Which right. always me, you know, it makes me mad immediately. Right, I'm like, right. well, what's going on? What's the problem? Right. She goes, uh, uh, your, your dad uh, knocked one of his caps out of his front of his teeth, and so uh, he's missing a tooth. In the front of his face? Yeah. So I go, and you know, they're meeting with parents tomorrow. So I go, well, right. have, can you get it fixed? She goes, no, no, you can't, you can't get it fixed. Right. Dentist won't take him. I, right. he, he's just not going to smile. Right. So I go, well, that's not, he's like a happy guy. He's, he's a like, happy man. Yeah. yeah. So, so I go, that's, it's insane. She goes, and also there's another thing. I go, there's another thing? She goes, I was sleeping last night, and I, I rubbed my eye, and I have a bloody eyeball. <laughs> I'm like, this is perfect. Meet the parents. Here's my mom, yeah. a villain from a soap opera with an eye patch. Right, right. And jack o lantern face. <laughs> and it's just insane. I'm like, this is perfect weekend. It's yeah, screwed up. Yeah, that's very upsetting. Well, have you ever, have you, I mean, did they behave themselves, though, while they were there? Did no, they... Well, no, it gets worse, weirdly really enough. There's a lake, as I said. So my dad uh, was swimming in the lake, and he had his, he had his money in his, in his pocket. And so, he had uh, his money, like, in his bathing suit when he went swimming? You know, I, yeah. That is a very parent thing to do. <laughs> it I was very... That. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, anyway, so we're getting ready to go into dinner time, and, uh, and uh, I smell smoke in this, in this old uh, lake house thing. So I go downstairs. I go, what's going on? My mom's like, your dad uh, burnt his money. I go, what do you mean? He, my dad microwaved $400 <laughs> and, and for four minutes. Because the money got wet, he throws it in the microwave? <laughs> you get to dry it off. And there's, well, I don't, there's metal pieces in money now. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Dad, what happened? He's like, well, I didn't see any smoke or anything until he opened the microwave and it just burst into flames. And uh, <laughs> if, if irony exists, he had to wet it again to put the fire out. <laughs> He jumped in the lake with the money. It yeah. was absolutely ridiculous. That's uh, upsetting. Like, no, it was, and then, uh, you know, then, the, 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 then they threw us all out. Yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, well, have you ever taken a vacation just with you and your girlfriend away from any parents? Yeah, no, that's fine. So that goes well. I mean, we, we went to France for like 10 days, and we only had one fight, but it uh, uh, lasted nine days. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That was Woody Allen, I'm guessing? I know it's a massive mashup. Uh, I do a mashup of impre I do uh, John Travolta and Woody Allen. <laughs> <One is like, laughs> That's John Travolta and Woody Allen combined? Let's, like go to like a disco, right? It's like the Nuremberg trial. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's up. nice. I yeah. like it. Oh, I, I have another, no, it's no, very okay, upsetting no. in a way, but it's good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, uh, now, uh, let's talk about something. This is very exciting, because uh, I know we're, we're both big sort of British Invasion music fans. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you got to perform with, uh, with Pete Townsend of The Who... Yeah. This uh, just a couple days ago, right? It's so cool. It was unbelievable. It was the coolest thing. I, 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 I'm doing. A, I'm working on a comedy record, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and so he, he he asked me if I could uh, MC the show he does at Joe's Pub, right. a tiny little show, and I got to just play my song and just hang out with uh, with Pete Townsend. And now, did you? How did you know him at all? Because I guess he, he he wanted you to help him with this. Is it? Did I met you, him. Yeah, I met before? him on the. Uh, uh, there was a concert for 9/11 we did at the Madison Square Garden. Right, right. Remember uh, that. So I performed at that, and then at the end of the show. They go, uh, uh, if anyone here would like to go on stage, all the performers go on stage to sing with Paul McCartney. Right. Let it be. It was a big ending where everyone's on stage. I go, oh, great, cool. And I was next to this uh, celebrity, uh, some celebrity personality guy, and, and I was like, let's go. And he kind of looked around like, there's got to be someone else I can go out with. Like, I don't want to walk. <laughs> do I, do I, like, so, yeah, so he kind of Didn't want to walk out with you, thought he could do better? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Who he, is this celebrity? I don't want, I don't want to say this. Regis Philbin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Jimmy Fell. <laughs> I'm not walking out with Jimmy Fell. <laughs> I'd rather walk out with the Scissor Sisters. <laughs> no, he not. loves the Scissor Sisters. But uh, Pete, Pete Townsend grabbed me and goes, "Let's go, all right." And I was like, "How cool is that?" I'm going like, I didn't even know him. He just that's so why when I ended up going on stage with Pete Townsend, I'll never forget it. He that's great. What a nicest great moment. guy. Yeah, he was awesome. Now uh, let's talk about this film that you did, Factory Girl. Mm -hmm. uh, what's interesting about this is that you um, your character has blonde hair in this, and you didn't go with a wig. You decided to dye your hair blonde, right? Yeah, it's a, a big mistake. Because uh, uh, I, 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 you know, sometimes you might think, oh, I might look pretty decent with blonde hair. I don't right. know how I'm going to look. But then if you have, like, Jennifer Connelly eyebrows, you can't really do this. I mean, I, it right. just doesn't work. I look like, I, I mean, for Jennifer Connelly, it would work. She's pretty. Yeah, beautiful. But you have my face, you end up with uh, just looking like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Right, Or right. I, I don't know. Who, um, <laughs> I thought maybe I would have, like, you know, because it didn't frost back in, it's a movie, that, like, it's based in the 60s. So I thought maybe it would look better. You can't frost the tips like the guy from uh, Extreme Home Makeover, whatever that guy, you know, that guy Ty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty, what's his name? Tie, heading something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He has the crazy hair. What is it? 
Ty Pennington. It's a They're big from Ty the Pennington fan. Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, They're uh, wearing shirts that say, We love you, Ty. <laughs> they really are. Too late night with Conan O'Brien. <laughs> They're yeah. wearing frosted wigs. Who's Ty? Uh, he so always, it's, it's, it's weird because I, I cry every time I see that show. And uh, You really like the show? Well, I, I, I watch it now and then because I get embarrassed because I cry all the time. But then I look at his crazy hair and it's like an emotional tug of war. I mean, do I <laughs> laugh at his hair or do I cry? I'm like, Move the bus. <laughs> <laughs> move that bus. Move it. <laughs> move the bus. That's why he's people, doing it. Yeah, yeah, people call me up. I'm like, I'm just cutting onions. I'm not watching. Um, now, I'm told, they told me just before the show that you brought something you wanted to show me, a photo, uh, and I, I actually, I don't know what this is. Okay, so. I, I, went to the, uh, I went to the Met, the museum, and I was, and I was walking around, and I saw this statue, and I thought that uh, it, kind of looked, it kind of looked like... What uh, is the statue? How old it's is this? Jerome Bonaparte is the, is the statue. It's a, it's a historical figure? Historical figure. I think it's like Napoleon's cousin or something. Right. And uh, I don't know what he did, but uh, I just, I took a picture of it with my camera phone. <laughs> That's Jerome Bonaparte? That really looks... It does kind of look like me a little bit. It's like you with, like, a Caesar. Yeah. Like, like it it's me with an exposed brain. It's kind of awkward. Uh, now, fa fa Factory Girl, uh, of course, is in theaters now. And, yeah, yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool movie. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Go check it out. Yeah, I was psyched up to, to do it. It's a uh, very Andy Warhol, 60s, it's cool, it's fun. Yeah. Well, so, hey, yeah. listen, thanks so much for stopping by. Always, Always good, good to see you. To see you. Very good. Thank best. you so much. Give my best to your folks. Thank you. Jimmy Fallon, everybody. Keith Overman coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.